and welcome back to the Dino Pet series. Can you believe it's been almost three months since I did the last episode? So in that episode I said how I had future plans on expanding the, the Dino Pet colony, should we say? And I certainly have done. So um, I think I talked to you through some of the things I'd bought to put them in. So we have Bubble Chip the little um, mason jar here. I think, is it a mason jar? Yeah, probably. We have the Devil's Nectar, my lovely potion bottle. We have Moonshine, the gin bottle. And then we have two new additions. So I haven't put any more in the light bulb. I didn't want to risk it at this stage when I'm just building everything up because if you remember, they all sort of died. I can't quite remember if I had any other things I was going to put them in. I think that was it. And these two new additions are actually from uh, Biopop, the Dino Pet website. So we have the Sphere, which I don't know why it's so difficult for me to say, and the Art Deco Sphere. This one I think is limited edition. Now you may be wondering why some of these are blue and like the Dino Pet's completely clear. Well there's two different foods you can use. Um, I think usually they will send you out the blue one which is in the white packet. Personally I think I do prefer that look actually in the daytime because um, say you were using something like this and it just looks like clear water people won't really understand what it is but when you use blue they're like oh what's that in there and then the other one which is the clear one is actually comes in the black packet here and I can use the blue in the clear one and the clear one in the blue um, but I think it will just dilute the colour slightly but that's just the food that you give them. Now one thing I'm going to show you up close is what I notice in the daytime is I think it's because they photosynthesize so they all come together and you'll notice this big clump of orange and they're all clumped together photosynthesizing and then at night when you move them around when you first touch them you'll see a glow in one area and that's where they've all huddled during the day and then as you move them around you notice the whole thing glows up. Now I have filmed them glowing up, I have to say they're very bright. The best one is probably, actually no they're really good actually, a lot of them. Um, the gin bottle glows up really really well. I love the spheres, like when you're rotating them around they really glow up. much an update of everything. I've actually done a little video for Biopop, it's um, unboxing the Dino Pet which should be on their YouTube channel at some point soon maybe. All that's left in this video to do is actually quickly show you how I feed all of these because they haven't been fed in a while and they also need a little burst of oxygen, you know, just to, uh, yeah, it's kind of stale air in there isn't it? So that's what we're going to do now. Some of these are slightly easier to feed than others. So we're going to start off with the little mason jar. Take off its lid, which is on really tightly. Give some air. Need a little bit of air in there. Oh, also, because they're quite like tightly fitted, as you could, you might be able to see, yeah, the liquid on there. Even if the dino pets get stuck up here after you shook them, they tend to be totally fine because of the sort of uh, condensation. Is that the right word? I'm not sure. But um, they tend to be fine. So let's add a little bit of food. They don't need too much. That might be enough. I think that'd be enough. Hopefully. Uh, let's put the lid back on. Now for the devil's nectar, if it'll pop out. So what I usually do is I put the test tube, like a test tube lid just fits in there perfectly. So when I'm just mixing it around, that's what I usually do. But, you know, sometimes when you're in a little bit of a rush, can't quite do that. That's one thing I'll say is because now I have so many I have to try to remember to you know shake them around but I don't think you have to every single night like I've missed nights before and they've been totally fine but um 
yeah, I have quite a few, so I try to keep them in the same place so I don't have to hunt around the house trying to find which ones I have to shake about. Now, for the spheres, um, I usually use a little funnel to put the water in here because I tried it without it and it did not work. Oh my goodness. So, um, the best way to do it was to use a little funnel, but I can't actually find it at the moment, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of hunting around for that. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video, um, I tried to make the set look a little bit <laughs> more professional, it, it really doesn't, but I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway. Um, if you're interested in any of this I'll put a link down below where you can kind of find it if you like. But thanks for watching guys and goodbye!